Christmas Day, um, the church has traditionally lit the candles in this order. Hope, peace, joy, love, and then the Christ candle. Last year we started a new tradition. We light the Christ candle first because we believe that Christ is the source for, for all of those other things. Without him in the center of our lives, we really can't experience hope and peace and joy and love. And so I'm going to light the Christ candle, and then from the Christ candle, uh, Cal and his family will light the joy candle. That was the candle of joy, in case y'all didn't catch that. <laughs> the candle of joy reminds us that on the day Christ was born, the angels brought good news to the shepherds of great joy for all people. Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Quirinius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were, in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Father, we are filled with joy because we have hope and peace that you have sent your Son for all who believe. Help us to be the voices that proclaim grace and truth. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Each year during the